Number 55, professional application. Calculate the increase in velocity of a 4,000 kilogram space probe that expels 3,500 kilograms of its mass at an exhaust velocity of two times 10 to the three meters per second. You may assume the gravitational force is negligible at the probe's location. All right, so I think in the book they discussed this, um, this particular formula, um, at least, so we can find the increase in velocity by using uh, this particular formula. It says that the increase in velocity is equal to the exhaust velocity multiplied by the natural log of the initial mass divided by the final mass. Okay, so all we got to do is simply plug in the values here. Uh, so there's just one little key point. So the uh, exhaust velocity they told us, right, 2.00 times 10 to the 3. That's then multiplied by the natural log of the initial mass of the object. And the initial mass, it said that it's a 4,000 kilogram space probe. So that's 4,000 divided by then the final mass. Now, just here's the trick, right? It expels, meaning it gives off 3,500 kilograms of its mass. So if it started at 4,000 and gave up or gave off 3,500, how much is left? That's right, 500. All right, and now that's it. These problems seem pretty easy, right? Considering the problems we've just covered, like the 20 problems in the middle of this chapter that were nuts. Um, so this is 2 times 10 to the 3 multiplied by the natural log of uh, parenthesis 4,000 over 500. I like these problems. How about you? So this is going to be 4.16 times 10 to the 3rd. All right, and that'll be, and the three looks a little funky, meters per second. All right, so that's the increase. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe and hit that like button if you can. That'd be great. Look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.